So this video will show you how to use Scribble Maps. So Scribble Maps, if you go to www.scribblemaps.com, Scribble Maps lets you uh, pull maps from um, some of the best mapping websites out there like Google um, and lay over them um, all kinds of images, uh, all kinds of lines, uh, markers, um, you know, boxes, graphics, whatever you want, and then save your maps. So if you're having your students say, um, you know, track a migration route of animals or, you know, try and see the geographical location of two uh, civilizations, you know, where they are in reference to one another. So anything you could think of to do with maps, um, your students can use this and then they can take the map, create a direct link for it and give you the link to see their work. So if I go on to scribblemaps.com, there is a, an area to log in, but you don't have to log in. You can create maps and share them uh, anonymously. So if you want to click on create map, the first thing you'll need to do is tell Scribble Maps what kind of background you're working with, basically what you want your map to be. So I'm just going to X out of this introduction box. Uh, down here, first of all, you can see you have the option to do hybrid, road, or um, satellite. So I'll just click on some of these so you can see what they look like. So same sort of thing in um, Google. You have the option to switch between these or, or even terrain. Uh, you also have the option over here of choosing where these maps are being pulled from. So there's a couple different um, options here. I'm just going to keep mine on Google for now and I'm going to go back to hybrid and we'll keep it on hybrid for now. So you have to tell it where you want to go. So I'm going to click up here in the search box. I had to go to a wedding this weekend in Columbia, South Carolina. So we'll just do that. I'll click on that. So it keeps you pretty far out here. You can either um, you know, place two fingers uh, and pull them apart on your trackpad to zoom in, sort of like on an iPad. Or you can use these plus and minus buttons. So I'll zoom in here a little bit on Columbia. I'll zoom in a little bit more. Oh, that's a little far in. Okay, so here we have a view of Columbia. You can always click and drag on the map to move it around if you want. Um, or you can do a new search to move around in geographical location. So once you find the spot you want to you know, focus on here. You have all of your tools up here. Everything saves in real time. So you can have the students say, um, draw a circle. Uh, this is the interior color, what it's going to be. So let's just say I want it to stay pretty, pretty light and we'll put it at 20% opacity and we'll keep it as red as a border. Once you click and drag, you get your circle you can always grab this guy and move the image around. You can resize the image or you can get rid of it all together. So I'm going to move this around until I'm happy with where I want it. Let's say I wanted to outline the college campus and I knew it was right here. Okay, if you're a Gamecock, this is where you went to college. And you have all kinds of other boxes up here. The polygon one is really nice for outlining, you know, a weird shaped um, area. So let's just say uh, I know that the Riverbank Zoo goes from here to here. And this lets you sort of build a weird shape if you want it. Um, you can add text if you would like to. Uh, these lines are really, really nice tools. The, the scribble one is obviously really nice because it'll let you make a you know weird shape if you want to, especially if you're tracking a path of something. But um, what I really love is this one, um, draw a flight line. This is pretty cool. So if I were to take a flight from here to here, notice that it is telling me how many kilometers that is. So obviously this close, uh, this zoomed in isn't really that applicable, but if you take this, you know, and you're going over across a couple countries, you can sort of see distance traveled, which is really nice. Um, and it's really quick. You can place uh, markers. So if I go into this marker menu, they have all sorts of like built in um, markers that I can throw on here. If you expand some of these menus, um, let's go to geology locations. Okay, so if I was, you know, say tracking locations of state parks. Now there's a little state park stamp. You can add a title to it and a description to it. You can even embed a YouTube clip if you want. 
anytime I go into one of these menus, it also gives me latitude and longitude, which is really cool. So let's say I've finished making all of my, let's just put the stamp in here. And we'll click save. Um, let's say I'm done making all of my edits and this is a this is work that I wanted to hand in. Uh, the students could go to menu and they can go to save map and they can just title it like you know their last name or something like that and click save map. They don't need to fill out anything else, password and all that. And here is the direct link. And as soon as they send you this direct URL, either post it in a Schoology page or they can send it to you through email. When you click on that, you will see all of their work with their images, their text, and all of their stamps and things like that. Um, what's also really nice for you is you can take this, I'm going to click, I clicked on menu again, and I can do save KML. So save KML, .KML is a, um, a Google Earth file. So this will actually save it as a file. You can click on the file and then it will launch in Google Earth and all of your um, stamps and lines and things like that will actually open in Google, which is really nice. So you have that option as well in Google Earth, excuse me. So then you'll be able to move around as you go. So that's Scribble Maps. I'm sure that you guys can think of some neat ways to use it in your social studies classroom. Please let me know if you need any help.